King Luke deck upgrade. Let's get it. Today we talking about Niv Mizzet. Here's the list of all the creatures in the deck. I'm only going to be taking out two of them. First one's going to be Spellseeker. Three mana to find a two mana instant or sorcery. Not worth it. Your deck is stacked with counter spells, so you're not searching for one of those. Next thing I'm taking out is Murmuring Mystic. Four mana to create one one birds. It's usually all right, but in your deck you already have two or three other token creators in the deck. And four mana for this isn't worth it. You're running 33 instant sorceries in the deck. I'm going to be taking out three of those. First one, Jataxian Probe. Just looking at a player's hand to draw a card is not enough value in the game. I know we're going to be dealing a damage and maybe drawing an extra card, but we got better stuff coming your way. And we all see how many counter spells are in the deck. We know you're a dirty blue player. You're going to be countering any threat that comes out anyway. Next thing I'm taking out, Pull From Tomorrow. You have so many draw spells in the deck. This card isn't going to give the value that the mana is going to cost. Last instant I'm taking out is Learn From The Past. I'm not a fan of this card. At four mana, I'm taking it out for something better at four mana. We'll see what's coming. These are the artifacts and enchantments, and I'm only taking out one artifact. We're going for Commander Sphere. Three mana for a mana rock isn't worth it. I don't care if it draws a card. Two mana mana rocks is where it's at, especially in a two color deck. Last two cards I'm taking out are lands. You're running 36 of them. I feel like we only need 34. First one's gonna be an island. Second one's gonna be this stupid fucking land, Myriad Landscape, throw it in the garbage. This deck was submitted by Mr. Tyler Kelly. He's one of my $15 patrons. If you're interested, check out the link either in my bio or in the description. The first card I'm adding is Teferi's Ageless Insight. Any deck that cares about drawing cards and has blue needs this card. This card is amazing. If it doesn't sit on the battlefield, it eats up somebody's removal, which is super valuable. I know you love the counter spell, so I added just one more of those. Spell Swindle. Whenever it counters the spell, you get treasures equal to the mana value of that spell. Amazing card. It helps you cast some really big spells early on in the game. Let you stop your opponent from doing some awesome stuff. As well as give you the value. It's like a mana drain except a little more expensive. When you combine Spell Swindle with Galazeth Prismari, you get undeniable value. As your tokens are already broken. And being able to just tap them without sacrificing them is just too damn strong. Your deck is all about drawing cards, so we're going to make that more deadly. First card, Psychosis Crawler. When you draw a card, your, each opponent loses a life. Next card, the Locust God. Whenever you draw a card, you're going to create a 1-1 one, one creature with haste, flying. It's then we got niv Fire Firemind. It's another damage, just like your commander. Helps you get that much closer to winning the game. Then we got Sulfim. He turns every one damage you're dealing into three damage. Amazing card, helps you control the board, and definitely wins games. Last but not least, I'm throwing in Murktide Regent. This is just in case there's a giant creature that you happen to not be able to deal with with a counter spell, which I know it sounds hard to hear, but I know it happens, Blue. This will be able to get you out a giant creature with little to no effort. Because you signed up for the $15 Patreon, I'm sending over the most expensive card I suggested, which was the Murktide Regent. And I'm throwing in a Kozilek the Great Distortionist. If you want to go the counterspell route, throw this in with a scroll rack. It should be pretty decent. So the Doctor Who set's about to come out. And collector booster packs are so expensive. This Saturday on the 14th, I'm giving away 24 collector booster packs. If you guys want to get a head start and set it up, follow me on dripshop.live. Giving away 24 packs. You don't need to buy anything. You just need to be there. If you do want to buy something, Drip Shop has hooked everybody up. They don't normally do this with free shipping on any purchase in the store. I have Lord of the Rings set boosters for sale and a signed land slash single bundle pack. And all you need to do is pay the sales tax on that. Free shipping, $10 off. Use the code KingLuke at checkout.